This is one of the magnets. Take a closer look. This is neodymium. It's a cylinder of five millimeters wide and about three high. Not much use on its own. And this is 10 of those magnets into a column. If this were a single solid magnet, it would be fairly brittle, but this is very flexible. Now this is 10 of these columns of 10 magnets, so 100 in total. As you can see, if you put 10 of these columns together, you get this sort of ribbon, which is uh, it's very flexible, but uh, when they snap together, you get quite a solid sort of a shape. This is 10 rows of 10 columns of 10 magnets, or 1,000 in total. And this is where it starts to get interesting, because you can, uh, it makes quite a solid shape, and you can break it up, snap it, build it into other things. If you're the sort of person who likes fidget spinners, thumb twiddling, and clicking on pens, then you'll love magnets. I find this quite a therapeutic pleasure in uh, fiddling with the magnets. Just uh, something keeping your hands busy all the time. It's quite nice. You can just, uh, just enjoy the flow of the, of the magnets and building shapes. For instance, this appears to be a square, but a little adjustment. Can turn it into what turns out to be a triangle. Do you think it's a right angle triangle? Well, actually you find it's a equilateral triangle. Sometimes I find that playing with magnets is a good way of visualising mathematical phenomena. Let me show you an example. For instance, take this uh, square. This is an 8x8 eight eight square. If I peel off a side and add it to the top, I now have a 9x7 square and a little one on the end. If I do that again, then you see I have a 6x10 square and there's this little square stuck on the end. And this is no accident. This is actually uh, an expression of a mathematical phenomenon known as a uh, difference of two squares. And the formula is something like this. But don't worry about the formula. I'm not going to go into the details. The interesting thing is that it predicts that when you do this thing, uh, take one off the side and put it onto the top, uh, you get a square on the side. And you can see it happening. So this abstract formula, which doesn't seem very interesting, you can actually look at, you can actually see it happening. I think that's a great thing to be able to do, really brings the stuff to life. So, who wants to play a game of quicksand? Here we go, we have the quicksand. Where are we going to step? Okay, let's try and step here. No, that's safe. Step here. Oh, falling into quicksand. Okay, uh, how about here? Oh, that's, oh no, no, falling in there. Go over here a bit. Oh, we're falling in. Uh, a bit safe, a bit. Oh, ah, we fell in again. Oh. Want to play again? Let's step into the quicksand. Oh, now that's safe. Oh, that's, oh, fell in. And so on. Hours of fun. Now, I know what you're thinking. I like magnets, but I don't like cylinders. Well, here's the alternative. Spheres. 
So for instance, you can uh, peel and unpeel them. They have uh, lots of different characteristics, just as many weird things as you can do with the cylinders, uh, but in sphere form. So I'm sure by now you're wondering, where can I get some of these wonderful magnets? Well, eBay is your answer. Uh, there's lots of people selling them, uh, all sorts of shapes and sizes. If you search for neodymium, uh, you can see lots. I think the having a large number of smaller ones is a lot more flexible than a small number of large magnets. The large magnets tend to stick together much harder and they're more brittle as well. So. Um, these ones, the cylinders, um, I don't remember how much I bought these for at the time. Uh, at the moment, I just searched and I couldn't find uh, a seller for this size, 5x3, for less than £100. But 5x2, there's someone selling them for £14 for 1000 So browse around and see what uh, price you can get. And the balls, you can get these for um, around £40 for 1000 but um, they, they come in usually 216 for a box of about £10. Great things to uh, play with.